the oxygen sensor heater circuit has a problem on bank 1, sensor 2. P0161, the oxygen sensor heater circuit has a problem on bank 2, sensor 2. This vehicle is a 2002 Ford Mustang V6. It has a pre-cat and a catalytic converter on each bank. Cylinder 1 is on bank 1, which is on the right hand side, the passenger side. This exhaust system has an upstream O2 sensor, aka sensor 1, and a downstream O2 sensor, aka sensor 2, on each bank. Our concern is on the downstream sensor, sensor number 2 on both banks. If you would have gotten your codes rate at the local auto parts store, they most likely would have sold you a pair of oxygen sensors. How do you confirm that the oxygen sensor is defective? First, we need to confirm that the circuit in question is receiving power and ground. Here's the wiring diagram. The sensors in question are the last two. Number 22 means bank 2, sensor 2, and number 12 means bank 1, sensor 2. This oxygen sensor has four wires. We will probe the female connector while the engine is running. Here, I'm probing the female connector for sensor 2 on bank 1. My hand is in the way, but pin 1 lit up as power and pin 3 lit up as ground. Pins 2 and 4 show no activity. We are more concerned with pin 2 showing ground as it is the ground for the heater circuit of the oxygen sensor. Pin number 4 is the voltage generating circuit. It will never show as power from the female connector side. We have confirmed that the oxygen sensor on this bank is not at fault. And we suspect an open between pin number 2 on the female connector and pin 95 on the PCM. Also an open between pin 4 on the female connector and pin 35 on the PCM. To confirm the open circuit, we will test for continuity between the sensor's connector and the PCM. I was able to reach the PCM's connector in less than 10 minutes. Here I'm testing for continuity between pin 95 on the PCM's connector and pin 2 on the female connector that feeds the oxygen sensor. No continuity. The other wire also show no continuity. Open circuit confirmed. There is two connectors in between these two test points. Maybe one of them is disconnected. After an inspection, we discovered a broken connector at the back of the engine at a very hard to reach spot. Here's this other half. The engine mounts have been recently replaced on this vehicle. During that process, this connector was crushed. It also cannot be reconnected due to the broken plastic shells on both connectors. If one of the shells was unharmed, then it would have worked. But there's still the issue of the limited working space behind the engine. It's a nightmare. Looking back at the diagram, we see that the dash lines tell us that the circuits share the same connector. So when it came unplugged, those two sensors were affected and not the others. The others have separate connectors for the heater circuit. The fix is simple. Just find a way to rejoin that connector. To do that, I'm going to have to become a car wizard and fabricate an extension harness with appropriate connectors. Step one was to cut out this same harness from a junkyard Mustang. Step two was to measure how much wire to cut. Step three was to splice the new extension harness. It just needs some conduit. And here's the finished product. The broken connector plugs into this used connector, runs atop the engine, and plugs into the other broken connector. This extension harness worked beautifully. I did not have to drop the transmission in order to plug and bond the original connectors. Now we retest the female side of the oxygen sensor's connector. While the engine is running, pin number two now lights up as ground. The circuit has been fixed. Same with the sensor on bank two. Remember that pin four is for the voltage generating circuit and it will never show any activity on the female side of the connector. After a few days, no data trouble codes are stored. Subscribe for more Mustang content and have a good day.